guys welcome back today i have a look that i wanted to bring for you though um i was inspired by my girl esther i'm gonna get her name right the name of her instagram page esther beauty essentials official and she did a look with the kenyan flag i'm kenyan i'm in kenya right now and i really really love this look and i hope you'll all like it and i'm gonna use this palette and this is the tummy with makeup revolution tropical carnival shadow palette it's very very colorful and i'm gonna that's the look of it i this is kind of going off my comfort zone but i really wanted to try this out so the colors of my flag are red white black and green so to start off, I'm going to do my eyes with the P. Louise base in Ruma number no. 4. I had to go off camera to fix my eyeliner and to fix the white liner because as you can see here my eye I have a fold and I, I need a liquid eyeliner I don't have a liquid eyeliner I've looked everywhere if you're in Nairobi let me know where I can get a white liquid eyeliner because I have been desperately looking for one and now I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and I'm gonna start off with no pro no po no problem Primer with Touch and Soul, from Touch and Soul. And the foundation I'm gonna be using is from Pauline Cosmetics and they are here in Kenya. And my shade is MC705. And I'll be using favorite brushes from Sigma. This is Big Kabuki number F89. I bought this foundation a while ago and it worked when I was indoors, I hope works once i blended it in as soon as i put it on i was a little scared i'm gonna get another brush and blend all this out and see if this is gonna maybe because i'm in the sun if... okay i'm gonna go in with my ColourPop no filter concealer and i'm in the day <laughs> that was a ColourPop concealer and i'm in the shade dark 46 and i'm using the sponge this is from sonia kashuk and it is damp and if you notice i normally don't put in a lot of concealer 
I tend to cake a lot under my eyes. Normally put an eye cream a lot, especially at night, because we that's the thinnest part of our skin, our face. That's, that's a part that has the thinnest skin on your face. And I'm gonna try this setting powder. This is RCMA No Color Powder. I usually don't like yellow-based powders or like the, the very popular one, Sasha Buttercup. I don't like it. It doesn't work well for me for some reason. And I usually don't bake. I just put on the powder and um, just let it sit for a few minutes and then I just brush it off. And I looked at the reviews of this powder and it's uh, it has some pretty good reviews. So I hope this works. I'm not mad at this at all, actually. This is actually pretty nice. Okay, I don't see any creasing so far. So I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use a powder contour. And the one I'm gonna use is this one by Morphe and this is Showman's. And it looks like this. So I'm gonna be using this shade right here. Okay, I'm gonna line my eyeliner and I'm using the LA Girl Glide Gel Eyeliner and this is in uh, the shade Very Black. And I don't like to touch my face with my fingers because I have powder, so I usually hold, use a brush and I'll just line my, line, my eyes. It's really pigmented. I'm gonna go back to the palette and to shade my lower lids, I'm gonna use this green that we used. Now I'm debating if I should bring the red or if it's gonna be too much. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna put my mascara on my bottom lashes and I'm using this mascara, my one of my favorite mascaras. This is a, by Thrive Cosmetics. And I don't have very long lower lashes. For me, this is always a struggle. I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Next, I'm gonna try these eyelashes and these are actually magnetic eyeliner and lashes. Sorry, I don't mean to be on you guys. I've never tried this before. They look like this. And I think I wanna try maybe the middle one. I don't know. And uh, when I contacted um, one boy, the girl that I bought it from, she said just apply the liner, this the liner part, just like you would regular eyeliner and then you stick them in. All right, so I'm gonna do this off camera again and I will be back. And she said it's instant, like you just apply and you just stick these things in. Those lashes actually worked. Uh, when I put in the liner, I was kind of itching a bit and I started feeling, oh my God, maybe I'm allergic to something in the magnetic thing, but it worked, I mean, they're okay. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and my shade is Deep number 60. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Oh, and I'm gonna be using this brush also from Pauline. Oh, it's white, sorry. Pauline Cosmetics, and it's a powder blending brush. And this is just to give myself just a smooth finish for all the look. Oh, yeah, and I went in and I popped in my white head wrap and a black top, just again to keep the theme of the flag. For my lips, I also wanna try something different. And I'm gonna line my lips with black. I've not done this before. Put some white, put some red, put some green. <sighs> we'll see how this comes out. I've not been recording all this time. I think we'll stay with black like that. I think I might just use the eyeshadow for the green. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do half red, green, and white. Oh, and the red I'm using is from Sephora. And this is the number one shade, and this is in their um, cream lip stains. This is this is one of my favorite red lipsticks. I don't have a green lipstick, and this little lip pens lip brush I'm using is from Kylie. These are my sister's brushes, and this is from Kylie. I'm using the green I have on my eyes. Oh well. Art is art, right? Okay. I put the white liner right in the middle. And that's what I'm gonna do in the top too. But I feel like this time 
doing the opposite way you know how i have I have the red here i want to put the red up here guys this was not an easy look for me this is out of my comfort zone but i really wanted to try something different because i've been challenging myself to really try and do different things from what i've not what i normally do so i'm gonna just correct this out here to finish all this i'm gonna use my urban decay all nighter by the way i don't have a blush so i'm not gonna wear a blush the showman's from morphe it has this little shiny thingy it's bronzer and contouring so i'm gonna use my bronzer as my highlighter <laughs> well it works because you know we are trying to use whatever we have that's why i, I put on the the spray first so if you put the a setting spray first before you put your shimmer what is it called highlighter it tends to pop out more since i don't have one um this is what i'm gonna use i don't really feel like using anything from the palette because i don't think anything in that palette has a shimmer in it and i'm using a pretty dense brush so you can see it but it's not there well a little bit Okay, that didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Let me look for alternatives. Oh yeah, um, I have my Juvia's, the little one, the Nubian. Maybe I can try this shade, this little shade. And I am not one who likes a lot of shimmer, so. You know what, that's it. Guys, I hope you like this look. It's out of my comfort zone, like I said, but I'm proud of myself, at least I tried. I didn't really like how this white liner came out. Um, the best one is the liquid one because it's more smoother, but I just could not find anybody in time. And like I said, if you're in Nairobi, Kenya, please let me know where I can find an, um, the liquid white eye, white liquid eyeliner. That's all guys. This is the final look and I'm going to go take pictures before the sun goes down. Please stay safe and as usual, be kind to others and be kind to yourself. Bye.